It seems as though this year in particular that we have very, very good depth. This year's WA draft pool has been classed as an impressive, strong group, with hopes to have as many as 12 players selected at the national draft this Friday. There's probably around about a dozen players that, that you know, we would think that would have a chance of being drafted. Ruckman, Tim English, Claremont, Sam Petrevsky, Seaton and Swan District's key defender Griffin Logue will attend the AFL draft. Tim English was a player who came really from nowhere all of a sudden, a ruckman and uh, you know when you get a good ruckman they're more than valuable obviously and he'd be more than a likely prospect. He's one that's progressed from Colts through to league football this year so it was a fantastic effort and he was very consistent throughout the championships. Sam petrosky seaton who had an outstanding 16s carnival a couple of years ago and uh, was being mooted as a possible draft number one pick. Um, so again, I've got no doubt that he will get drafted. Griffin Logue, who tested extremely well in the draft combine, um, will go very high in my opinion as well uh, from Swan Districts. He's a, a strong, physically well-developed young lad who's, uh, who's got a number of key attributes. He's, uh, he's got great endurance, he's got a lot of strength power and the great thing is he's a very versatile player, he can possibly play either end of the ground and certainly on ball. And the list of promising WA prospects doesn't stop there. Sam Powell, Pepper, who came through from um, East Perth Colts and played league footy and played extremely good footy towards the end of the year so that was pleasing to see and he's an uncompromising real tough ball winning type player so I have great hopes for him in being drafted as well. Jake Waterman our captain who we saw go through from Colts again to league footy and kick five goals in his first league game for Claremont so that speaks volumes for him and of course he's got the father and son situation with Chris his dad who played at West Coast. Shay Bolton, who played at South Fremantle this year in the Colts competition, was absolutely outstanding. He's one of those typical small forward type players, but can play through the midfield as well. And he's quick, he's elusive, he's got great lateral movement, and he knows where the goals are. I think he kicked 24 goals in his last uh, four matches of the Colts season this year. So his stocks have certainly improved, and I have no doubt that uh, he'd be a player that will get drafted as well. Zach Fisher, who won our MVP in the championships, is, is a young player, played league football all year with Perth. So you would think that uh, he'd be a strong prospect as well. The talented draft stock is a great outcome for the significant amount of work the WA Football Commission has been undertaking to further enhance the quality and standard of coaching. That's been a major part of my role in developing the, the Colts coaches in the Waffle competition. I've seen coaches really evolve throughout the course of the year and uh, you know I've been particularly pleased with the way that they've delivered their programs and I've got no doubt it's played a major part in uh, in the improvement of a number of our players and, and the fact that they will now be given an opportunity at AFL level. With the AFL draft comes a lot of hype and speculation and player welfare is an important focus for the WAFC during this period. We prepare the players well and they go through the system and particularly in the AIS and they have all types of uh, expert people that come in and talk to them about a variety of things and uh, the key focus that we really work with players on is just playing to their absolute best every time they step out on, on the park and if they continue to do that we're certain that they're going to get good results at the end but the young kids need to make sure that you know it's, it, it, it's a tough character building game and they need to be resilient and if they are overlooked is that we give them the best possible program to continue on and work on the areas that may have cost them the fact that they didn't get drafted and you know in a good system in the waffle competition with quality league coaches and Colts coaches I've got no doubt if they're persistent and they've got that good attitude and they persist at what they're doing that they can win they can still win through.